Hey, this is Dr. Linda Davis, and today uh, I want to go through an optimization problem called Documents or Us in our student files. And um, what we have shown now is the actual answer. So even though there's some zeros in here, it is, is correct for optimizing uh, based on what person is best at what particular job as far as um, either typing or designing pages and based on how many hours obviously these are all in the hours that they're allowed to work each week um, your answer should be in your type pages that's C11 and D11 should be 210 in there and then um, Brenda's obviously best at uh, doing quite a few things so hers should be 30 hours typing 10 hours designing for a total of 40 hours the other two are doing designing for 40 hours each now let me make sure you've got your data solver turned on. So go to File and go to Options. And in the Add-ins section of Options, you want to go down to Manage Excel Add-ins and hit the Go button. And you want to make sure you have Solver Add-in checkmarked. Okay. And um, say OK after that if you did uh, have to check it. And then let's look at the constraints you were supposed to put in. Okay, so I will click on Solver. I'm in the data tab and then go to solver on the far right. Uh, the objective is um, the absolute cell name for C11. So it's dollar sign C, dollar sign 11. Make sure you've got that in there. Uh, by changing variable cells, and these are the variable cells you want to change, is C5, the range is absolute C5 to absolute D7. And make sure you know that you set up the problem just like we have on the paper. So it means you know putting the exact thing in the exact cell. Cell address is very important on this. It's too hard to transpose it in your head if you get where well, you start off in a different cell than we do. Now, subject to these constraints, so check these constraints and make sure that you did the same constraints. Um, C11 should equal D11. Um, C5, the range of C5 to D7 should be an integer. C5 to D7 should be greater than or equal to zero. All this is in the word problem. And E5 to E7 should be equal to 40 hours, which is 40. Okay. And um, as we go through there, you'll just hit your solve button. And when you hit solve, um, this, it should be able to solve it with these values showing up, okay? And I hope this uh, helps verify what you did versus what, uh, what it should be. All right, thank you for your time.